Come and listen to a story about a man named Jed. A poor mountaineer barely kept his family fed. And then one day he was shooting at some food. And up to the ground come a bumbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. Well, the first thing you know, old Jed's a millionaire. The kinfolk said, Jed, move away from there. Said, California is a place you ought to be. So they loaded up the truck in the north of Beverly. Hills, that is. Swimming pools, movie stars. The Beverly Hillbilly. It's only two o'clock. The dickens, you say? <laughs> that must have been the moon that come up. I thought it was the sun. <laughs> you can get yourself another four hours sleep. Yeah, good idea. I'll do that. Night, Jed. Night, Shorty. <laughs> Where are you going, Shorty? Oh, uh, Jed. Going? Yeah. Oh, I was practicing the old Vernon and me slipping away in the early morning so as not to wake the family. Oh, you don't have to worry about that. We was always up before daybreak. Oh, well, that relieves my mind. Now I can sleep. <laughs> Good. Uh, night, Jed. Night, Shorty. <laughs> Shorty? Jeb, don't you never sleep? I'm just about to ask you that. What are you doing this time? Uh, I decided it would be real romantic if El Vernon and me alone. Wouldn't it be even more romantic if you took El Vernon along? <laughs> hey, doggies. I knew I forgot something. <laughs> well, night, Jed. Night, Shorty. Good morning, Alverna. Happy wedding day. Oh, thank you, Mayor Heller. Is the groom up yet? Oh, I don't know. I didn't think it was proper for me to enter his room unchaperoned. <laughs> I'll check on him, Alverna. Thank you, Shad. Uh, wake him gently. Oh, I will. <laughs> what a shame Mayor Heller has a wife. You two could come with us and make it a double wedding. Oh, I'm too old to think of getting married. Yes, I suppose you're right. <laughs> Morning, everybody. Hello, Ellie, dear. Cousin Bess and me want to wish you a happy wedding day, Miss Bradshaw. Well, thank you. Ellie May, you know I don't like varmints in my kitchen. Now take it outside. Well, Bessie, I ain't a varmint. She's my friend. Well, take your friend outside. <laughs> yes, sir. Give me a kiss. Poor dear sweet thing. Oh, what a shame she has to lavish her affection on animals. What you mean? Well, she has no man and no prospects. Doomed to be an old maid. And here I am, getting married for the second time at my age. Just what age is that, Elmer? <laughs> Between us, Granny, I'll never see 40 again. Did you catch a glimpse of 50 as you passed? Shorty, wake up. Shorty. What's the trouble, Shad? I can't wake the bridegroom. Well, from the look of that smile on his face, he must be having one awful happy dream. A 
bet you he's dreaming about that bachelor party last night. Yeah, I can't hardly blame him. Mr. Drysdale threw a humdinger. Yeah, shorty the sheik and his harem girls. Wake up, sheik. Uh, where am I? What day is this? This is the day you marry Alberta Bradshaw. <laughs> Come on. Get up. Oh, have a hard so this. I can't marry Elverna. Why not? Well, you was at that bachelor party last night. You saw all them pretty girls. That's the life for me. That's all over and done with now, Shorty. Well, it don't have to be. We can have another bachelor party tonight. Who for? Uh, oh, Chad. He's single. We can have the party tonight and get married tomorrow. <laughs> Who would I marry? I'm glad you asked me that. Never mind the answer. <laughs> this is your wedding day and your bride-to-be is waiting. Oh, that floor's cold. I'm freezing. Well, look on the bright side. Tonight you'll be on your honeymoon. Yeah, and you can snuggle up nice and cozy with Alberta Bradshaw. That did it. <laughs> Still in the bathroom. Shorty? What do you want? Alberta's waiting for you. Oh. <laughs> Come on, hurry up. What are you doing? I'm shaving. You've been shaving for an hour. I got a dull razor. <laughs> it ain't that dull. It's so dull I can't even cut my wrist. <laughs> Shorty, unlock this door and come out of there. I'll be out in a minute, Jed. Jed, I just thought of something. What's that? This room's next to mine, and there's a great big tree right outside the bathroom window. That's right. Well, ain't you afraid he'll climb out the window and shinny down the tree? Nope. Hi, Fred John. <laughs> Darling little fiance. Hey, he's shaving. What? He's shaving. He's showered. <laughs> well, which is it? Well, uh, Ilverna, uh, Shorty is so anxious to see you, he's uh, shaving and showering at the same time. <laughs> oh! Uh, hello in there. Who's that? This is your blushing bride. How soon can we leave to get married? Uh, Saturday to latest. <laughs> Saturday? Shorty, dear, Wednesday's our wedding day. Okay, see you next Wednesday. <laughs> next Wednesday? Uh, Alberta, uh, Shorty is so uh, thrilled and excited that he don't know what he's saying. That's the truth. The thought of marrying you has, has got him just paralyzed. Paralyzed? <laughs> with, uh, with, uh, joy. That's joy. it. Joy. Paralyzed with joy. Oh, how sweet. Yeah, now you just leave Shorty to us. <laughs> yeah, Alberta, we'll have the bridegroom ready in no time. No oh, time at all. Thank you, boy. Shorty, what are you doing now? I'm about to have myself a drink. Drink of what? I found a bottle of alcohol. Well, Shorty, don't drink that. That's rubbing alcohol. Yeah, that's poison. Uh, doggone it, I was hoping to get up enough nerve to fight that bear. <laughs> get it. You drink that stuff, it'll kill you. So come on out and marry Alberta. You gotta admit, that beast dying, right, Shorty? <laughs> Shorty? <laughs> Shorty? I'm thinking it over. <laughs> Excuse me, Chief. You know, Miss Bell, the little slave girl secretary, you cheated out of the bonus? Now, look, if I hear one more word about that lousy bonus, I'll fire you, her, and the whole secretarial pool. Oh, no, no, no. Chief, it's nothing like that. Uh, Miss Bell's little brother, Cookie, would like to meet you. Oh, well, send a little fella in. I'll give him a free piggy bank. <laughs> Her little brother? <laughs> yes, and her big brother would like to meet you too. Come in, sir. <laughs> what, what, what can I do for you, gentlemen? We understand you had a slave auction here last night. Slave auction? Here? Me? That's what our sister told us. Oh, you must mean the 
fun slave auction. Doesn't look like much fun for the slaves. <laughs> Who's this cat here? Well, well, that's the sheik who bought your sister. I mean, Miss Hathaway, explain the situation to these gentlemen. What do I know? I'm just a camel driver. <laughs> Thanks a lot. <laughs> really, fellas, it was just a party. You see, these three secretaries volunteered to be make-believe slaves. Just make-believe? Absolutely. It was just good, clean fun. Miss Hathaway, bring in the three slaves. Secretaries. At once, master. <laughs> Great sense of humor. Well, now, what do you fellas do? I play professional football. Oh, say, that is my favorite sport. You play too? No, I'm not big enough. <laughs> Here are the slaves, master. <laughs> I'd appreciate it, Miss Hathaway, if you would stop choking. <laughs> now, gentlemen, what is it you want to see me about? About you selling our sister as a slave. And about that hundred dollar bonus you owe her. Fine. Now, uh, which one is your sister? <laughs> Are you kidding me? Well, not, not at all. Will, will the sister of these gentlemen please step forward? <laughs> She's the one? You didn't think that maybe the black girl would be our sister? Well, didn't you know? I'm, I'm completely colorblind. <laughs> oh, Miss Hathaway, make out my personal check to this young lady for $100. Yes, sir. Oh. Uh, no, no. Not the green folder, the red one. <laughs> well, as you football players know, you can't win them all. <laughs> Shad Hiller, you had to be a blacksmith. <laughs> How do you like the way Ellie and me decorated up the honeymoon car? Looks real nice. Las Vegas or bust. <laughs> you like it, huh? Hope Jordy don't think it gives him a choice. <laughs> He'd take bust. <laughs> Come look at the sign I put on the back. <laughs> Hold on, boy. That's jumping the gun. Yeah, they won't be married till they get to Las Vegas. I took care of that. On the way there, they just close this down like that. <laughs> oh, oh well, it may how lovely. Thank you, dear. Oh, you're welcome, Miss Bradshaw. You ready to go, Elverna? Uh, just as soon as Shorty's ready. Well, I'll go look in on him. Last time I seen him, he was still tied up. <laughs> uh, come on, Chad, have a heart. <laughs> Nothing doing, Shorty. You ain't getting loose until you're ready to drive to Las Vegas and marry old Vernon. <laughs> Listen, Chad, you know that old mule of mine you always admired so much? If you untie Stop me... Stop wasting your breath. I've already turned down $20 cash in your car. <laughs> I'm throwing old Vernon. What would I do with her? I don't know, but if you think of something, tell me. <laughs> well, Shorty, the time has come. Oh, now cheer up. Will you see what Jeff Rowe and Ellie has done to your car? Burned it. Wrecked it. Shorty. Was Alverna in it? <laughs> your car is in perfect shape, and so is Alverna. I believe that about my car, but it was never true of Elverna. <laughs> Shorty, if you feel that way, why did you ask Elverna to come out here and marry you? I hadn't seen a woman four weeks that had been hiding in Granny's root cellar. But when I seen all them pretty girls again, I changed my mind. Forget about them girls, Shorty. Elverna's got everything they got. I wonder where she keeps it. <laughs> now, stop that kind of talk. You're getting a fine woman. That's the truth. You and Elverna was made for one another. Don't forget, she owns the Silver Dollar City Hotel now, and you two can run it together. You'll be a dandy team. You'll be the happiest two birds in the nest. You really think so, fellas? Absolutely. No question about it. I was getting tired running the hotel by myself. 
doing all the cooking and cleaning. Elvin will handle that. She's a dandy cook and hard worker. You're going to have it soft from now on. My golly. <laughs> Come in and sound pretty good. Come in. Is my bridegroom ready? Oh! <laughs> I'm ready, Elvern. He's just a mite nervous. Oh, you mustn't be, darling. We're going to be so happy together. I hope you're right, Elverna. And here's a little sample of the happiness in store for you. <laughs> <laughs> Tonight, there'll be more where that came from. <laughs> well, Shorty, I reckon that clinched it. It sure did. Tie me up again. <laughs> well, Chief, you seem calm and collected after your little scare. Scare? Did I look scared? Terrified. <laughs> now, listen, I didn't want to start anything in front of a woman. Oh. But you should have heard what I told those guys after you left the room. What did you tell them? I told them it was all your fault. <laughs> Thanks a lot. And here are the bills for last night's party. Holy smoke. How am I going to explain these to the board of directors? Oriental tapestries, oh, slave girl costumes, gold chains. Tell them you were photographing an ad for the bank. Photographing an ad? Well, you, you got the pictures. It's a natural. Beautiful slave girls in chains. Your motto, don't be a slave to debt. Save your money at the Commerce Bank. Beautiful, fabulous. It's a great idea. It's good enough to actually use. Well, I think so. All you have to do is pay the three girls. Nuts to that. I've already paid one of them. See, that's it. We'll reshoot the picture with just Jean. Now get her back in that slave girl's outfit right away. You're right, Chief. And Miss Hathaway? Yes. I'm going to ask the board of directors to OK a raise for that ad idea. Oh, gee, gee, that's wonderful. Well, what's so wonderful? It'll probably put me in a new tax bracket. <laughs> sure, you'll be right down, Elberna. You'll be on your way to Las Vegas in two minutes. You know, I've never been to Las Vegas, and Granny tells me they have gambling there. That's what I hear. Every kind you can think of. Well, I certainly hope Shorty won't be tempted to gamble. If there is one thing I cannot tolerate, it's gambling. With some folks, it's a regular sickness. I know, right in my own family, a happy marriage was broken up because of gambling. Really, Elvern? My Aunt Bertha married a man who was the picture of propriety. Sober, hard-working, church-going. Together, they saved a small fortune. And in one poker game, they was completely wiped out. What a shame. Yes. Aunt Bertha was lucky in love, but a lousy poker player. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go, Elvern! I can't wait to get to Las Vegas. Uh, we'll go crank up the car for you, Shorty. Come on, Jack. I'll go with you, fellas. I got some rice out there to throw on the happy couple as they come out the door. Over, <laughs> honey. We're all alone. How about another one of them kisses? You little devil. Make it a steamer, baby. <laughs> Shorty. <laughs> that was a scorcher. <laughs> I go to my poker deck. What? I can't leave without that. Shorty Kellums, don't tell me you play poker. Poker, blackjack, gin rummy, pinochle, you name it. If it's for money, I'll play it. Shorty, darling, please don't play cards. Okay, honey baby, we'll shoot crap. That's <laughs> my point. There's a five. Cover it. Oh, Shorty, darling, what's gotten into you? That old gambling fever's got me. I didn't know you were a gambler. I was about cured, but uh, thought to go into Las Vegas and bring it back. No. There's a deuce that says I make my point the hard way. Fade me, baby. Oh! <laughs> yeah. Well, Miss Bell has agreed to pose for the bank advertisement, Chief. Oh, good. And you will represent the villain. That's it. Uh, how do I look? Not villainous enough, strange as it may seem. <laughs> you, you should have a black hat, black mustache, and a black cape. That's a good idea. I'll be right back. All right. Uh, did Miss, uh, Miss Hathaway tell you what this picture's about? Not completely. Well, it's an ad for the bank. And the idea is, don't be a slave to debt. Now, you'll be kneeling with your hands like this, 
pleading with me, the villain, death. See? Like this? That's right. And I'll be standing over you with a whip, like so. Please, Master, don't hit me. Please don't hit me with that whip. I wouldn't hit her with it if I were you. Hi, <laughs> fellas. I guess this looks kind of incriminating for a bank president. I don't know much about bank presidents. How about you, Earl? I don't either. But I tell you one thing, I wouldn't want my sister to marry one. <laughs> go to Las Vegas with Shorty. Why? He's an inveterate gambler. Well, he swears he ain't a Yankee gambler. <laughs> Riley, please come and talk to him. Maybe you could help cure him of this sudden attack of gambling fever. Lemons, come eleven. Be good to me, Dice. Feed me somebody. <laughs> that Shorty is a hard rascal to reel in, Jed. Yeah. Looks like he done spit the hook again. <laughs> Boots, black belt. Bad news for the bad guys. Walker, Texas Ranger. Weeknights at 6 on the Hallmark Channel. On the next Hallmark Channel mystery movie, when a death in prison and a corpse in the woods uncover organized crime, Leah Thompson is about to become crime's number one mother. What are you looking at? An all new Jane Doe, Till Death Do Us Part, premieres Friday night at 9 on Hallmark Channel. Come back now. Cheers. This has been a film-wise presentation.